everything always looks so picture perfect on social media and it is a lie. I'm telling you this as someone who does social media as their full-time job, social media is not real life. And I think that's something we hear a lot, but okay, what does that really mean? Let me break this down for you. I was looking at my own social media pages and trying to look at it from an outside perspective. And I found myself literally comparing myself to myself. It doesn't make sense. There's a few lessons to be learned here. One, comparison is the thief of joy. Two, you can't compare yourself to people on social media because you never know what they're really going through and people only post their perfect moments online. So of course you're gonna think their life is perfect when they're posting their perfect moments. And three, I realized that I haven't been prioritizing myself, my mental health, my physical health for a while and now is the time that I change that. I am starting a new series on my channel called The Self Love Letters and not only am I doing this for myself, I'm doing it for you, for both of us. For a while now, I feel like I've been lacking balance and I've been neglecting my mental and physical health and I really want to be in my prime because I deserve it and I haven't been treating myself and giving myself the love and care that I deserve. So now that is going to change. This series will hopefully inspire both you and me to be the best version of ourselves, for ourselves, and that journey begins now. Today is the day I finally follow through on the commitment that I made to myself that I'm going to do better, to be better. I feel like for a while now, I've had so many off days in a row and I was trying to figure out why is that happening. And then last night I had this realization that the power is literally in my hands. No one can do it for me. I'm gonna have to do the work myself if I have a goal and have a place in mind that I see myself at. And I've just been feeling so off, really unmotivated, just, I don't know, not really wanting to do anything. And I feel like I can be treating myself a lot better than I am. And I feel like I owe that to myself and I wanna be the best version of myself. I don't think there's a single place per se where it's like, once you've reached this point, you're the best version of yourself. I think you're constantly reinventing yourself and becoming better, but I don't know. I just have been feeling off lately and I know that I can do better and I wanna feel better. I want to give my body, give myself the love it deserves. So I'm starting today. Today's actually a su- wait. <laughs> Today's a Tuesday. I have no perception of time. Today's a Tuesday, which is kind of a random day to start, you know, a fresh start. I feel like typically when people have goals, they're like, oh, I'll wait till Sunday or Monday, whatever the start of the week is. I was like, I don't wanna wait another week. It's a Tuesday, it's the start of a new day. Even if it's the middle of the day and you have this realization of something you wanna change or do, start now. That is my advice, start now. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my own advice and today's the day I start. I'm eating a little fruity cup just because in the morning before I move my body and work out and stuff, I'm not hungry enough to have a full breakfast, but then if I don't eat, I get nauseous when I work out. So peaches have been a perfect little thing to have in the morning. Cheers. Mm-mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> a really big contributing factor to me feeling not the best lately is what I've been eating. More than anything, what you eat can influence how you feel so much, so much. And I haven't really been having a balanced intake of food. So I have not been thriving. If I put a bunch of crap in here, I feel like crap. Basically, we're doing a huge home reno, my parents are. So for the last month, we haven't had a kitchen. So we've been eating takeout a lot and we have nothing to cook on. We didn't have any appliances for a while. We still don't. So I'm trying to figure out how to keep my balance there. It's just been hard, so inconvenient to try and make something here that I've just been like, oh, let's go get food somewhere else. And that in moderation is fine, but it's just been so constant and for so long that I'm starting to feel it. So I'm going to do my body a favor, myself a favor, and get back on track. And it starts with this peach cup.
Wow, I'm freshly showered, feeling good and proud of myself. This is the perfect time to talk about BetterHelp. They are the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, it is professional counseling that's done securely online. I think it's important to break the stigma that having counseling is bad and embarrassing. I have gone to therapy before. Whether you're at a low point in life, doing okay, or maybe you're even feeling good, I think counseling can benefit anyone and everyone. BetterHelp has a broad range of expertise that sometimes isn't available in your local area, so the fact that it's online is so helpful. This service is available for clients worldwide, so basically it's very easy to sign up. You go to betterhelp.com and you take a short little quiz just so it knows more about you and they compare you with the right professional. And then once you create an account, you can log in at any time, send a message to your counselor. You can also schedule weekly phone calls or video calls. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating really great therapy therapeutic matches. So if you don't feel like you and your counselor are a good match, you can always change. It's a lot more affordable than traditional offline counseling, which is really nice and financial aid is available. Both me and BetterHelp want you to start living a happier life today. So you guys can visit betterhelp.com slash Ava. That's better H-E-L-P.com slash Ava to get 10% off your first month today. I will have the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Speaking about mental health, comment down below how you're doing. I will be reading the comments and responding to you guys. I want my channel to be a safe space for you if you want to talk and have something you want to get off your chest. So while you're commenting about how you're doing, I will tell you how I'm doing. The last few weeks have not been it for me and it's so strange because I think on social media you would never know. It's definitely been a weird adjustment moving forward with COVID as things get better and you know friends are wanting to hang out more. There's more social events and I sometimes do not do well socially. There's literally been times that like I will have a little panic attack and start crying and get really overwhelmed even if it's with people I know. So that's kind of been a little weird adjustment as things open up and friends are hanging out and wanting me to come. It's weird because I always want to be there. Nah. It's weird because, you know, I want to be there and hang out with my friends, but sometimes I just get so overwhelmed. So that's kind of been one thing. And another thing that I've been trying to work through is this mental block of getting back on track. It's hard because I have like these goals in mind and I want to be the best and healthiest version of myself. It's not about losing weight or anything like that. It's being healthy and treating my body the way it deserves to be treated. I just haven't been doing myself justice. I don't know, it's been very hard for me to work out lately. I just haven't been motivated at all. And I think a really big mental block I had was that I just had this envisionment of where I wanna be. And I would think about that vision and I was like, holy shit, how am I gonna get there? That is so far away. I neglected to think about how big goals don't just get reached. It's the small goals that help you get there. You don't just start off at the top of the mountain. You have to take the first step up the mountain and that's something that I really needed to start realizing and I'm really proud of myself for going to the gym today. I've had such a mental block about that for so long. I owe it to myself. I'm making this promise to myself that I will treat my body with love and care for it because I wanna be in my prime. I'm 20 years old. I'm going to be in my prime. I, I am in my prime and it's time to start acting like it. So there's that. Also my mood has just been kind of down lately and not really for any specific reason, which makes it hard because if you can target a reason, you can kind of work through it. But when you don't know why you're feeling down, you're like mad at yourself for feeling down and it just gets very confusing. So yeah, I've been trying to figure all of that stuff out. And usually on social media, I'm not gonna, you know, make an Instagram post and be like, eh, feeling like shit. <laughs> So that's why I'm talking about it in this video. I'm excited over the next few months to do this series and hopefully have you along for the ride if you've been feeling the same and if you feel like you've been wanting to change your life. <laughs> that's very dramatic. It's the little changes that can change your life and we're starting small. I think what's really gonna be it for me is the daily habits that add up because it's not like one day I'm just gonna wake up and everything's gonna be perfect. No, we have to, we have to take the steps to get there. So I don't know if any of that made sense. It probably didn't. I'm very hungry, let's go eat some lunch. I'm going to this place called Aloha Salads, which honestly is one of the very, very few healthy places near where I live, which kind of sucks. And that's why it's so easy to just go somewhere quick that's not necessarily healthy. Here's the thing, things are okay in moderation, but I've just been not in a good group with food. Like I was saying before, food is our body's fuel and depending on what you put in your body, it's kind of gonna affect how you feel. I'm very excited to have our new kitchen at the house because I miss cooking my... Yeah, they're very simple meals because I don't really know how to cook. 
but I miss making my eggs, my, what else can I even make? I just miss having my healthy breakfast and being able to make myself lunch. Actually, I didn't really make myself lunch. My mom usually makes me lunch. Again, perks of living at home. I've just been saying this to myself for so long that I'm gonna start eating healthy and drinking more water because I've been drinking a lot of juice lately. You know when you've been eating not the best for days and days and days in a row and you keep promising yourself that tomorrow's gonna be different? I've been doing that for so long and now is the time I finally change that. And I'm honestly really excited because I know I'm gonna feel good. Wow, amazing. Fun fact, I'm Caesar salad girl till I die. I love Caesar salad. My mantra that I am looking to incorporate more into my life starting now is balance. I feel like in so many areas of life, social life, work life, personal life, balance is important to everything. Balance with what I eat because while I do want to start eating more healthy, I will absolutely have a cookie and a brownie if I want to because that's what balance is. I think sometimes what gets lost in translation when people are like, oh, I wanna start living more of a healthy lifestyle. It's like, okay, well you can never eat cake again. Wrong. That's the mindset that I used to have and restricting myself like that was no good. I found myself eating more crap than normal just by having that mindset because I felt ravenous for it. So I'm learning to listen more to my cravings, although I crave cookies every day of my life. That's not the point here. <laughs> I can have a healthy lifestyle while still enjoying what I eat. Yeah, time to chow down on some Caesar and I am ready. <laughs> Hello, it is nighttime now. I think it's 9 p.m. I went for a little dive sesh with Nia, who if you don't know, is my best friend, which was so nice. The water was perfect. We got some dinner at one of our favorite restaurants, Holly Joe's So good. I thoroughly enjoyed my meal, so I'm very happy about that. Heart is happy. Mind is happy, stomach's happy. So one thing that I know has really been affecting my mood lately, and this is how I know I was going down a slippery slope of just getting off track and out of my normal groove where I feel good, is because I stopped reading. <sighs> I stopped reading and I have been into books for the past year, so I had a book, this one specifically, a masterpiece literally laying on my night table because I was like, ugh, I'll read it one of these days. And it's been sitting there for two months. So the day before today, which is the day I've been, you know, trying to get it back all together, I was like, dude, I am going down such a bad rabbit hole of watching Netflix for hours until my eyes are like rolling into my head late at night and I don't like that feeling because I would go to bed super late, wake up very groggy, not feeling good. Either watching Netflix, going down the hole of Vampire Diaries, or rotting on TikTok, essentially. There was one night I stayed up until 2 a.m. watching TikToks. The thing is, I don't remember a single one of the TikToks that I watched because it was so mindless and not intentional. A few nights ago, I finally picked this up. I was like, bitch, pick up the damn book. So I did, and I read this in one day, less than a day, like seven hours. I've been missing out. So I just finished this. My heart is wrecked. I need to find a new book to read. These are kind of the options that I have right now. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do this one. I've been meaning to read this one for so long. I think I'm finally gonna start it tonight. Mm -hmm. 